students here we will continue with fourth main sixth question the series given to you is a decimal series i'll read it once 0.2 etc here which is the first term the first term is 0.2 second term is 0.22 as said before you will calculate second term minus first term third term minus second term fourth term minus third term let us see second term minus first term here it is 0.22 minus 0.2 is equal to here i have shown the subtraction it is 0.02 next one third term minus second term 0.222 minus 0.22 here i have shown the subtraction you can see that it is 0.002 are they equal 0.02 and 0.002 are they equal no they are not equal if you are not getting an equal answers here there is no point in doing fourth term minus third term so we'll stop it here itself since the common difference is different in both the cases the pattern does not form an ap students when you are getting the first two answers if is different don't go for the third subtraction stop it there and write the pattern does not form an ap next 10th question a 2a 3a 4a etc which is the first term this is 2 so a is the first term second term 2a how will you do second term minus first term third term minus second term fourth term minus third term here you can see when i subtracted i got a a a since the common difference is same in all the cases the pattern forms an ap you have one more question there you should find the next three terms that is the last term plus the common difference is 5a the next term is obtained by adding a to 5a 5a plus a equal to 6a 6a plus a equal to 7a therefore the next three terms of the ap are 5a 6a and 7a next one here students look here the series given is a a square a cube a raised to 4 you know that you are obtaining this by multiplication only right you are not adding anything so here when you see the question itself you can understand that it is not an ap but it is your duty to prove that so we will subtract second term minus first term a square minus a this a square minus a itself let us reduce it reduce in the sense we will take a common and others in the bracket a into a minus 1 now third term minus second term that is a cube minus a square is equal to a square into a minus 1 here you know a cube and a square a square is common so i took this out and i'll get a square my into a minus 1 here itself you understood that they are not same just for your information i have shown you the third subtraction also since the difference between the terms are different the pattern does not form an ap now this is a new question for you you can see irrational numbers there isn't it the question series is root 2 root 8 root 18 root 32 so you are going to subtract the irrational numbers you know it's a little bit difficult subtracting irrational numbers now let us see what is happening the second term is root 8 first term is root 2 
So you are going to convert root 8 in terms of 2. Let's see. What is 8? 8 is 4 into 2. So root 8 I can write it as root of 4 into 2. You know 4 is a perfect square. What is root 4? Root 4 is 2. So I can take 4 outside the square root and write it as 2. So root 8 I can write it as root 2 root 2. Once again root 8 I can write it as 2 root 2. Similarly root 18 I can write it as root of 9 into 2. What is root 9? Root 9 is 3. So 3 root 2. I can write root 18 as 3 root 2. Similarly, root 32, I can write it as 4 root 2. Now it is easy for you to subtract. How will you subtract? Root 8 minus root 2, I can write it as 2 root 2 minus root 2. Here what is the number? 1. 2 minus 1, 1. So the answer is root 2. How will you minus the third term minus second term? Root 18 minus root 8. Root 18 I told you I can write it as 3 root 2. And root 8 I can write it as 2 root 2. How will you subtract? 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2. It is again 1 root 2. Root 32 I showed you I can write it as 4 root 2. Root 18 is 3 root 2. When you subtract 4 root 2 minus 3 root 2 is equal to root 2. Students, when you are converting like this, it is your duty to find a perfect square inside this. Then only you can take it out. Okay. Now you found that this given series is an AP because all the answers are same. Now you are going to add root 32 plus root 2. Again root 32, I told you it is 4 root 2. 4 root 2 plus root 2 is 5 root 2. How will you convert it into root 5? When I take it inside square root, what will happen? 5 5 are 25. Don't forget to write it. Don't write 5 into 2. When you take this term inside the square root, you should square it first. So 5 square is 25. Root of 25 into 2 root 50. That is your next term. Root 50 plus root 2 is 6 root 2 and 6 root 2 plus root 2 is 7 root 2. Next, 13th one, root 3, root 6, root 9, root 12. Here you can see you are not converting it into anything else. Here it is root 6 minus root 3. You know root 6 is 3 into 2. So here you can see root 3 is common. Here also you have root 3. In the second term also you have root 3. So root 3 I took out. What is remaining? Root 2 minus 1. So second term minus first term is root 3 into root 2 minus 1. Now many of you will have the questions. Ma'am. How can I write it as in the previous question? Here it is not possible. So after practicing many questions, you will come to know that which method you will adopt for each question. Next one, third term minus second term. Third term you know root 9. 9 is a perfect square. What is root 9? Root 9 is 3. Again root 6. 3 minus root 6. It is difficult for you to subtract. So what will you do? You can write 3 as root 3 into 3 minus root 3 into 2. You can see root 3 is common here. I will take root 3 outside. So what is remaining here? Here root 3 is remaining. Here root 2 is remaining. So here the difference is root 3 into root 3 minus 2. So let us compare the first and the second answer. This is the first answer and this is the second answer. What happened? They are entirely different. So the series doesn't form a AP. 
we'll go for the next one yes this is your last page 1 square 3 square 5 square 7 square here the only concept which you know, want to know is what is square you know how will you find square right what is 1 square it is 1 into 1 what is 3 square it is 3 into 3 5 square is 5 into 5 7 square is 7 into 7 so you can easily multiply and then subtract 3 square minus 1 square is 9 minus 1 8 5 square is 25 3 square is 9 25 minus 9 is 60 can you see any similarity between the first answer and the second answer nothing is there so the difference between the terms is not same therefore the pattern doesn't form an ap now your 15th question 1 square, 5 square, 7 square, 73. Don't think that it is a mistake in the question. It is 73 itself. Now let's see. What is 5 square? 5 square is 25. 1 square is 1. 25 minus 1 equal to 24. Third term minus second term. 7 square minus 5 square. What is 7 square? 49. 5 square, 25. 49 minus 25 is again 24. Next, fourth term minus third term. 73 minus 7 square is equal to 73 minus 49. Again, it is 24. You can see all the three differences which you obtained are same. So, they form an AP. Now, you can see it is seven. next three terms. Add 73 plus 24, 97. 97 plus 24, 121. 121 plus 24, 145. Students, what you should do is, you should copy all the answers of 15 questions in your notebook. If you have any doubts, you can clarify from me. Either during the live doubt clearance session or through phone. Thank you. So, do all the problems including the examples given in your textbook. Study well.